For the first off, Ishmael Valdez, and next stop, up onto that tarmac up there, his 50th home run of the season. Rangers have won nothing, and then Gabe Kapler breaking open a 2-2 tie. Here comes Rafael Palmeira in to score. The Rangers take a 3-2 lead and then pour it on from there. 11-2 is the final. Palmero, four for five, his 46th home run. The guy is a machine. He'll give you 40 or more seemingly every season. He's just baseball right now. The A's against a team who's been the best all year, the Mariners. Thank you, Mariner fans. Over three million tickets. Bottom one, look at Ichiro just chopping and running. One shy of Shoeless Joe Jackson's Major League rookie record of 233 hits. Bottom three, looking to tie it. He does. Boy, can he get down the line. Two batters later, Brett Boone. You know, we all have our AL MVP picks. That's mine, Brett Boone. Go ahead, make your case. RBI 136. Brings home Ichiro, ends up 3 nothing. Three batters later, two on for Ed Spray, who's David's pick for AL MVP. Awesome. By Chavez, Cameron, and Olerud score. 5 nothing Mariners. Top of six, the gritty, gutty A's looking to come back. They're down 5-1. Jermaine Dye makes it 5-2. Jeremy Giambi scores. Three batters later, Miguel Tejada is the go-ahead run. Swing and a drive. That would be gone in every other ballpark, but in the heavy air and the big field. Seattle, it's not. And so... The Mariners are winners 5-3. By the way, Mariners shortstop Carlos Guillen has been diagnosed with pulmonary tuberculosis, expected to be out of action for at least a week, being treated with antibiotics. The team believes he would be available before the end of the season. And Ty Cobb's run record, bottom of the second. It helps to hit ahead of Barry Bonds. Rich Aurelia with his 36th. Rich Aurelia, 36 home runs. Three zip Giants, very next batter. Ball one from Jason Middlebrook. Ball two from Jason Middlebrook. Ball three. Then Barry sitting dead red on a 3 0 pitch. Here's the pitch to Bonds. A high fly ball. Way out. 68. Gone. In three at bats against Middlebrook, Bonds has three home runs. 68 on the year. Come on out, Barry. Curtain cup. His dad, Bobby, gets a hug from Giants owner Peter McGowan. Take one more look, please. Ow. That is a rocket. 68 home runs. During the year, he's lost an uncle, a cousin. He said it all built up, and some of the emotion came out tonight. Crying in the dugout after the blast. Bottom three. Sean Estes to left center. Ray Lankford. Could you get that? Oh, the sweet catch in front of Ricky. Bottom four. It's Bonds up again. Middlebrook does the smart thing and walks Bonds. His second walk of the game. He set an NL walks record. Top five, two on. It's Ricky. Remember, this is his night, too. The base hit to left. That'll score Ben Davis. Ricky, one for five on the night. Four hits from 3,000. Did not score a run. Bottom five. Barry on deck. Aurelia at the dish. And Ray Lankford everywhere. Serious shoestring job there. Bonds would not get his chance in the fifth inning. Bottom of the sixth. Camera's focused. And swing and a miss. Oscar Serrano gets Bonds there. Bottom seven. The ump would bring in these specially marked balls for Bonds at bat. And Barry takes that baseball and sticks it into right field. The double scores Aurelia and Marvin Bernard. Bonds now with a career high 131 RBI. And the Giants win it. 10 to 5 is the final. Bonds has just feasted on rookie righties this year. 10 home runs. Arizona D backs must win to stay two up on the Giants. Kurt Schilling strikes out Gary Sheffield in the first. Now Arizona's turn. Bottom three, Greg Colburn to right. Matt Williams comes home. He is safe. One nothing snakes. Two batters later, runners on the corners. That's Craig Council. 
is a high chopper. High chopper, Jeff Rebelay can't get to second in time. Everyone safe. Colburn scores 2-0. Arizona, top of four. Runner on first, Sean Green. Look out, Schilling. Off the leg of Schilling. Off of Schilling's ankle. Safe all around. Schilling would be okay. Easy for me to say I'm wearing makeup. Next batter, runners on first and second. Sheffield drives one to right center. That will score two. Grudzelanek. And Green. We're tied 2 2. Later in the inning, Adrian Beltran. Strike one pitch. This guy's just a good situational hitter. Brings home Sheffield from third, and LA has a 3 2 lead. Gary Sheffield. There's Schilling, frustrated. Bottom eight, Mark Brace. Pinch hitting for Schilling with a man on second. Arizona down by one. Up the middle. Steve Finley. Comes around the score. Mark Grace comes through. It's 3 3. We would move to the 11th. What lead singer Brandon Boyd is to Incubus, Luis Gonzalez is to Arizona. He wins the game in the 11th. His 54th homer. 10 this year have come against LA. A huge victory for the Diamondbacks. Schilling goes 8 a lot. The Rockies at Kerr's, bottom nine, tied at five. Curtis Liskanek facing Alex and Cho with a couple aboard. And that's a rope in the center. Terry Shumpert coming hard, losing his helmet and scoring the game-winning run. The Rockies with two in the bottom of the ninth, winning 6-5. American League, Cal Ripken, Don Mattingly. Talking baseball before Friday's game. Cal's... Career game 29-92, tied for seventh all-time with Willie Mays. Here Cal will ground out the third. He would go 0 for 3 on the night against Mike Mussina, the former Oriole, who had it going on in this game, dominating his former team. Against Brady Anderson, 114 pitches, 84 strikes. He had his command. Gill and then Jerry Harrison, 200 Ks, fourth time in his career. Bottom three, Yanks up 3 0. Bernie Williams, and this is a Yankee cranky. 22nd for Bernie. Yanks lead 5 0, go on to win 7 0. It can be argued Mike Messina is having a better year than Roger Clemens. Both have 31 starts. Messina has three complete game shutouts. Clemens has no shutouts, no complete games. He's side on. All right, the Yanks, of course, have won the AL East. The Indians are about to win the AL Central. There's Jim Tomey striking off for the 175th time this year. AL records 186, Rob Deere. Eric Milton pitching well, so is CC Sabathia. 11 Ks against the Twins. Tom Prince went down there. Still no score in the eighth. Danny Baez facing Torrey Hunter. Baez gets it, but then throws it away by Jim Tomey. Christian Guzman scores. David Ortiz will try to do the same, but Tomey will throw him out. 1-0 Twins. Bottom nine, same score. Can the Twins hold on? Eddie Guardardo facing Nider Diaz. Luis Rivas, Christian Guzman. Inadvertent in-game leapfrog action. Both would be okay. That's visually pleasing. Not for the players. Twins are winners. Indian magic number remains three. It'll be Joe Mays against Chuck Finley on Saturday. Back in the lab for the Red Sox on Friday. He went 0 for 2. Top of 9. Jose Offerman tries to tie the game with a three-run homer, but Wendell McGee with two outs in the top of the ninth gets the job done defensively. He reinvented his game. He's come back as a very good pitcher. Here he freezes Marcus Giles, freezes Julio Franco, and a really good splitter to Chipper Jones. Eight strikeouts, first five innings for Steve Trax. Top of two, one on for Todd Seal. Career homer 214, one behind Pedro Guerrero, Chet Lemon, and Ron Fairley on the all-time home run list. Two nothing Mets. Bottom two, Javi Lopez gets it back. 28th homer this year allowed by Traxel. We're tied 2-2. Bottom three still tied. Mets with the bases loaded, but Tom Glavin. Payton the outside corner gets Jay Payton the fly out to right. The Mets left six men on base through the first four. 
Bottom six now, Andrew Jones, man on. Bobblehead night me. Laser shot off Steve Traxel. Two run homer. Brings up 4 2. Number 150 in his career, third youngest man ever to get to 150. Now here's Mike Piazza, critical spot. Rudy Cianez on the mound. Sets up away and down. Boo, he missed his spot. He got it up. And Piazza, who is so strong to the center field and the right center, just missed this one. And the Braves survived that. Wind blowing in just a tad. In fact, it's blowing left to right, killing balls to center, but balls to right were traveling. Julio Franco's first RBI against the Mets since 82. How about Brian Jordan in four games against the Mets this month, hitting 438 previously this season, just a 104 hitter. Still raining. Again, the Phils began a game back. Oh, really, 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 really. The Marlin, Tim, top of three. Scott Rowland, two for 15, lifetime off Ryan Dempster. That changed right here with a bullet into the stands. This is what they have not done well, is power hitting lately. Next batter. Travis Lee, you know he's swinging well when he goes to the opposite field, and he's done that an awful lot lately. This is homer number 20, and his swing looks really good. So do the Phils. They're up five to one. Bottom seven. Small is down five three. Eric Owens off Robert Person. Dave Berg. Good John Halsman name scores. Marlins within one, five four. Jose Mesa has been very, very good this year. 38 saves, but he doesn't get it done here. They had a five one lead in this game with Robert Person on the mound, and now this score is tied. Eric Owens sacrifice fly. And then Kevin Millar is clutch and clutches everything in life. He tosses the bat. He knew it under the Waterhouse side, which was pretty appropriate on this night. Marlins win in 10, 6 to 5. Boy, the Phils blow a four run lead. They fall back to two behind the Braves. The Marlins bullpen was marvelous. The Fish, now just 4 and 13 against the Phils. The Astros and the Cubs. Afternoon baseball at Wrigley. Look who's up. It's Sammy Sosa against Roy Oswalt, and Sammy steps on that one. Now Milani goes. His 33rd double, 97th extra base hit. That ties Pat Wilson's team mark. Tough outing for Oswalt, just coming back from a groin injury. And Bill Miller making him pay. Sticks one into right. Matt Stair's going to score. Ricky Gutierrez. Going into third, going to collide with Vinny Castilla as the ball goes past. Gutierrez hurt, and those cold-blooded Astros tag him out. Gutierrez left with a neck strain. Don Baylor says there's got to be something wrong with that. There's something wrong with Oswald. He aggravated the groin injury and left. Top seven, John Lieber gets Orlando Merced watching. Orlando would get tossed by Mark Barron. Must have said the magic word. Cubs win at 6-2. That's the Astros' first loss at Wrigley since May. The Pirates' top first base is loaded. Rob McCoviak wasting pitches. Fouls off seven of them. It's like 50 bucks worth of baseballs. And finally, after all of those histrionics, he watches strike three on the inside corner. Next batter, it's Kevin Young. And Young skies one to Mark McGuire. Dustin Hermanson wriggles out of a bases loaded jam. In the bottom of the first. Edgar Renneria up with the bases loaded, and Edgar comes through. Jason Kendall, an excellent catcher. It doesn't help much in right field. One of five pirate errors. Ali Ali, income free, base is clear. It's four zip cards. And then Mark McGuire. Oh boy. Career home run number 582. Just two for 21 against the Pirates. Both hits, home runs, his 28th of the year. The Cards win 14 to 3. Edgar Ranaria and Miguel Cairo with three RBI.